very small sort of pieces is not Steve so Collins. Small. Not so small now. He's going to tell us where to go as well. Yeah, I'm going to tell you where to go. And, I'm, and he's doing it officially. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Nice going, to have you back. Good. Going from a naturopath to sociopath. What a great thing. Can I say, that I is. love your shirt. Thank and you. I know you've got a yes. new supplier. Yes. So it looks really good. Thank love you. the colours. I, I like the colours and I like the pattern. Of course, yeah. nothing looks good on my body, but we try. We well, try. I think it looks lovely. I love the Thank colours. You, Fred. What are we talking about today? We're talking I've... about, well, we're t travel's coming back. The Indian Pacific has started up again over, well, it's been over a year, Sydney I think. to Perth, right? Well, it, 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 first of all, it's going from, well, it's been uh, it's a couple of days ago, came, went from Adelaide, where it's based, yep. to Perth. And now it's going Perth to Sydney, Sydney to Perth, blah, blah, blah. Back no, and I did see back on the forth. news it's been stuck in Adelaide for about a year because of COVID. Yeah, Is that yeah right? that's exactly right, yes. But now yes. that all the borders are open, well, really, they're, they're, there's Western Australia, South Australia and New South Wales. So they're, they're, they're pretty much open. They've been open for a while. And it is a fantastic trip. I've done it a few mm. times. And uh, one of the great reasons for doing the Indian Pacific is you get... The, a wonderful impression of just how big Australia is when you go mm. from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean or vice versa, it doesn't matter. It's just a magic trip. It's like cruising on wheels. Now, I, when I did it, I started in Sydney and uh, came over to Perth on it. And of course, Sydney is, is a magic city. It's just such a beautiful thing. That opera house, yep. that is the most famous building of the 20th century. It was, uh, amazing well, actually, history, yeah, isn't it? it's just amazing history. And but Paul then Hogan you get on this. painted it, actually, yeah, didn't he? And, uh, yes, and this is, this is Central Station where it starts. Mm. Now, the train is so big, it actually takes up two platforms. Um, so uh, you, you're told where your carriage is and you go to that platform and then just before it leaves, they see that, mm -hmm. they take it out, they take one side out and click it onto the other and away you go. And you start up uh, and you head up through the Blue Mountains, which is about an hour out oh, of Sydney. This is a lounge car. Now, this is where a lot of the action takes place. We're just uh, over the, uh, the Blue Mountains here and this, uh, uh, we went to Bathurst and this is Broken Hill. Now, this is just close to the South Australian border um, and it's a, ma it's a magnificent place. You actually sleep on the train. This is, you get there the morning after you depart mm -hmm. um, and it's got a lot of history, Broken Hill. It's a bit like Kalgoorlie in as much as uh, Broken Hill and we're back, we're in Adelaide now. So uh, you, uh, Take Steve, your, who actually owns the Indian Pacific? It's called Journey Beyond. So it's not the government. It's, it's not, not, government not a service. government, no. Because I was asked it's a that private and I didn't company. Know. And Journey Beyond, well, they also run uh, the Garn, which runs from Adelaide awesome to Darwin. Train. Uh, but they uh, they run uh, the Rottnest Ferries, and there's a whole pile of stuff that They're they a big run. Company. But they do a lot of stuff. They know their stuff when it they comes. They really to do know their stuff, and they've got this. One of the, one of the one of the great things mm. about the Indian Pacific, it is just so comfortable when you get I on it. I saw some footage on Nine yeah. News the other night, yeah. and I have to say I agree with you. It looks for people who haven't been. Yeah. What can you tell them about how good it is? Well, in now it depends which class you get. Uh, they've they've got red class, which is where you sit up. I would not. Uh, I would would not advise that's you to do that. That's just in the chair. Uh, well, yeah, but that's because people, yeah, like you, you mm. may want to go just from Sydney to say yeah. Broken Hill or whatever. That's fine hours. for that, uh, or Broken Hill to Adelaide. It's fine, but if you want to do the whole three days, uh, it's actually uh, four days, three nights. And here we are. This is leaving Adelaide. We're out on the uh, out on the Nullarbor Plain. This is Cook. This used to be a, a bit of a community, but now it's very, very small. I think there's only a couple of people, about two people, live there anymore. As you can see, it's pretty much deserted. That was the old schoolhouse, etc. Um, I don't know what they are. I think that may be the old jail. I'm not, oh. not, not, not entirely sure. Um, but they always stop there because they've got to add water to it. Uh, and so you spend about an hour in Cook. Uh, and see you. And this is the dining Looks very car. Luxurious. Now, one of the great things about this trip is the food. The food is absolutely fantastic. Um, and if you go gold class or platinum class, the food, the wine, the drinks are all included, wow. and it is really good. 
and they use Australian products. Now, this is a nullable. Look at it. I mean, it, it looks like there's not a lot to see. That's mm. Ricky Lee Coulter. She was on the trip with me. Oh, uh, wow. Just as just a close friend. And then this is uh, raw linen. This is in Western Australia, and they stop here again, and you have a special dinner there as well. It's, uh, it's, on, a, it's on an old uh, uh, farm station there. And this is the last stop before we get to Kalgoorlie. But there's so much to do. There's a lot of action. Night time in the uh, in the lounge is is really party time. We have a fantastic time there. They have entertainers on board and stuff. So I guess here we if, are in Cal. If you're going to travel on yeah. the in the Pacific, you get the food if you pay oh, well, the, the right it, ticket. Depending on which class. The if, you're, if you're in gold or platinum or whatever. Yes, it's all so, included. Now, you can have a one berth. Um, the staff are fantastic. Beautiful. That's us. Um, uh, you, you can have a, a one-person berth cabin or a two-person berth cabin. Or if you go platinum, you've actually got like a, a, a double or a And do a they have their bed. own toilets and showers or only in, certain tablets? In the doubles, yep. you have your own uh, toilet and shower. If you've got a single, then you share. There's... Um, there's enough to share, and it's absolutely mm. private. You don't share with anybody else. It's just so once you, you can get in, choose the package. It suits you your budget, I guess. the package that you want and the budget that you want. What sort of people do you think these sort of holidays on the Indy Pacific? What sort of? Well, it's, like a, with... it's like a cruise on wheels. Certainly, mm. uh, uh, it's a lot of older people. Um, you get a lot, well. It used to be pre-COVID days, a lot of. Uh, uh, international visitors, particularly Euro Europeans. Well, you Europeans love everywhere. to do it because they can't do a trip yeah. like this in, uh, in in Europe. For instance, if if you did um, if you if you did the Orient Express, mm. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere near as as far as the Indian Pacific. But it's mainly an older demographic. Uh, it is very relaxed. The staff are absolutely fabulous. Yep. But you know, you'd think. And there's tools included as well. For instance, um, uh, when you get to Adelaide, for instance, there's tours of Broken Hill, there's tours of Adelaide, and I think and that nowadays you can also go do a tour of the Barossa Valley. Beautiful. I opted to go to the Central Market because you would love that. Yep. To my mind, the Central Market in Adelaide is the best food market in Australia. A lot of variety. It's extraordinary. Uh, then you stop at Cook. And roll in it, and you mm. also uh, stop at uh, Cal to now, do it. Now we did. Tour. We did see it's opened up again. It's come to yep. Perth only a few days ago. Yep. How do people get involved if they want to go online, or maybe if you if they go want online, to book? Journey Beyond is a place to go. Yep. Uh, if I mean, I'm sure that uh, those travel agents that are still operating, mm. they 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 could book it for you. And a lot of I know my local travel agent, they they had to shut up their shop, but they are still operating. Yep. It's just they operate from home. Um, so if you if if you have a trusted travel agent, they probably need the business. So I'd go through them. But you can what do it online as well. Wonderful way to actually get back yep. into travelling. Yep. Uh, they want us to wrap it up, Steve. We've yep. got a couple of websites for you because I know yep. next time you come in, we'll talk more about Tell Me Where to Go. Yep. Tell Me Where to Go. dot com is uh, is a a new website I'm involved in, and the reason why mm -hmm. uh, I'm involved in this is we. We, I produce a lot of podcasts for them. What can people we, see if they go on that website? Well, if they go on that website, they'll see a story. Uh, they'll listen to a podcast yep. that is that is often narrated by the person who mm -hmm. wrote the story. Okay. And they're like a mini travel documentary. We have videos. It's also it's so what you've got you've got these different platforms so you can enjoy travel in different ways. You can enjoy seeing great photos, hearing fabulous stories, looking at good videos. So it's a little bit different from most travel websites. Fantastic. It's, it's and are we looking? Interactive. A lot of people ask the question to me and also yeah. to you. When are we going to be able to fly again internationally? And I know we can fly domestically. Well, again. Qantas has announced that they'll be flying internationally again from October. The big thing is, as Hilly was talking about, the vaccines. Once enough people are vaccinated, there it's are some countries talking about. Uh, uh, Bubbles. Yep. Um, Thailand is talking about it. The Seychelles are talking Taiwan about as it. Well, it's Singapore. Taiwan and also New Zealand and a lot of the South Pacific It'll Islands. Be great. Uh, I can see in the in the future, a couple of months away, but I can see that we will be travelling again. Not to all countries, 
um, but to a selected number of countries good that have got the coronavirus under control. Good on you. Steve Collins, of course. Tell me where to go.com. We saw the website there. And uh, we'll talk more in, in a few weeks' time, maybe. Absolutely. In a couple of weeks' time, we'll get Chris. Uh, I keep calling him Chris today, but it's Steve Collins, yes. of course. Uh, travel extraordinaire, travel reporter, travel writer. Check out his website. Lots of interesting facts there. And if you want anything, if you want to know anything, write to us here at the couch and we'll pass it on to Steve as well. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Fred. See you in a couple of weeks. Uh, we'll take a break. Dr. Costeridge is coming in after the break, talking about sleep and also the vaccine. See you after the break. Well done.